A political storm in the land of blue skies. Monday saw left-wing unity candidate Jean-Laurent Felizia drop out of the second round of elections for France's Provence-Alpes-Côte d'Azur region. With 15 percent of votes in the first round, he had placed a distant third. In first place, Thierry Mariani of the far-right National Rally Party, trailed closely by Renaud Moussaignier of center-right party Les Républicains. Felizia initially resisted calls to withdraw from the runoff and to throw his support to Les Républicains, infuriating his allies in the socialist and communist parties, as well as his own Green Party. Nous appelons à faire barrage. Et si cette liste venait à se maintenir, elle n'aura pas le soutien d'Europe Écologie Les Verts. Elle n'aura pas le soutien du PS ou, ou du Parti Il communiste. Il sera exclu du parti. Il sera, bien sûr, oui, bien sûr, avec toutes les conclusions qui, qui doivent être tirées. The strategy is known in France as the Front Républicain or Republican Front, an alliance of necessity between conservatives and the left to block the far right in runoff elections. It made its most significant modern appearance in the 2002 French presidential race. There, Jean-Marie Le Pen, founder of the country's ultra-nationalist anti-immigrant National Front Party, came in a surprise second place in the first round. In the runoff, the left rallied to conservative incumbent Jacques Chirac, who trounced Le Pen by a nearly 65 percent margin. Leadership of the National Front would eventually pass to Jean-Marie's daughter Marine, who herself would make it to 2017's presidential runoff. She lost to Emmanuel Macron, but only by a 32 percent margin. In both local and national elections, the Republican Front has steadily been losing impact since the 2000s. Macron has tacked right in recent months, a bid to draw in national rally voters that has made him increasingly unpopular with left-wing voters, leading many to wonder if the Republican Front can hold for the next presidential elections in 2022.